फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू द आईटी वर्ल्ड ऑफ श्री वशिष्ठ विद्यालय नाउ इन द प्रीवियस सेशन चिल्ड्रन वी हैड लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज वायरस द टाइप्स ऑफ वायरस एंड सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ वायरसेस इन दिस सेशन इन द इन दिस सेकंड सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज मालवेयर व्हाट हाउ कैन अ वायरस इन्फेक्ट our uh, system through emails and about ransomware viruses so the first topic is malware malware is actually a short form of malicious software intentionally made again it comprises of different kinds of virus you can call it a virus you can call it a worm a trojan horse road kids etc it is a program that acts without the knowledge of user and deliberately alters the computer operations some corrupt programmers or virus authors write this malware and then test it to ensure it can deliver its payload and now what do you mean by a payload a payload is a destructive event or a program made or developed and intended to deliver it to the different systems so that it can damage or harm the data now let us see about some symptoms of malware or viruses if your computer works differently from usual it may have been infected by a computer a virus worm trojan horse or rootkit often one of the more following symptoms but what are the actual symptoms let us see a computer if it runs much more slower than the usual memory of computer becomes less than the expected now whenever you are working actually our computer works on a normal speed but when this our computer is infected with virus then it works very slow we may have memory problems even though the memory is available the third one is file becomes corrupted the file which was working earlier it might not work properly and the screen displays some unusual messages or images some un- unknown kind of music it plays existing programs and files get disappeared even though they are there in our hard disk we cannot find them the programs or files that do not work properly unknown programs or files mysteriously appear system property changes like your theme changes your font size changes operating system it may get corrupted because of this malware or other viruses and the operating system can shut down completely or unexpectedly so these are some of the symptoms of malware now what are the effects of malware or viruses right so it can damage or rename some important files it can be of some system files which are required to boot now if you change these system files then it will not Uh, allow our users our users means us to start the operating system and hence we cannot use the computer it can damage or destroy the operating system it can decrease the speed of the computer it can reduce the memory of your or the hard disk space actually it is uh, being programmed in such a way that the memory remains the same but if we try to copy any data or anything then we get a low disk space error which is given over here it can infect boot records boot records as i said earlier boot sector boot sector is the sector or the what we say the part of the hard disk from where the operating system loads so it can infect the executable files the executable files again as i said with the extension of dot exe now children the next topic is email virus now email viruses are spread with the attached files attached to the email messages as an email attachments have become more common the number of viruses have also increased you cannot get an email virus from a message that contains only text means children if you are getting a virus or say an un, uh, sorry if you are getting an email from an unknown person you should not open it without asking it to your parents or referring it with your teachers it might contain a virus and specially those email addresses which contain attachment with 
them. Now, how does this email virus is spread? See, see children, as you can see, when you open an email attachment that contains a virus, it spreads to your computer. Now, if you forward it to your friend or to other people, this com their computer will also get affected. And hence, this virus can access their email address book also and yours. And automatically send, send themselves to the email address is stored there. Right? So, it's very dangerous. Now, the next topic which we are going to learn is about ransomware virus. Now, what do you mean by ransomware? Actually, let us learn about what is ransom. Ransom means some extortion money asked by, uh, say you might have heard this word in movies, like people get kidnapped and they have to pay for the ransom, right? So, to be freed from, to, be, uh, to free their uh, relatives from that particular kidnapper. So the same thing this virus does. Actually, it does not do any kind of kidnapping. But yes, it restricts the access of your computer and demands a ransom or money to be paid in order to move the restrictions. So it's very dangerous. So never ever share your personal passwords or any kind of information, banking information to anyone. Now, how does this ransomware spread? Ransomware can enter your computer through an email attachment or through your web browser if you happen to visit a website that is infected with this type of virus. It can also affect access your PC or computer via your network. If your computer is infected with viruses, then you must probably, you will not be able to access your computer. How can you prevent such viruses or such attacks? The first thing is make sure the software on your PC is updated including your operating system and browsers. Ensure that your antivirus software is up to date and can scan for and wipe out any kind of ransom virus which is present on your computer. So you should not use any free viruses. That's it for now children. Stay tuned for the next video. Till then, goodbye.